Hi, I'm Liz Irving and welcome to Squash Lab. I'm going to take you through a journey of at-home training. We've developed some fantastic programs for you, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced player, you can find some programs that will really meet your needs, depending on the space you have to work with as well. So I'm going to take you through some exercises, some technical things, some fantastic drills, and you can also pick and choose what you'd like to do in the library of exercises that you'll also have available to create your own programs as well. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go through some of the tools that you'll need for your at-home training. Now, I would recommend things like soft, spongy, round balls here. You can have a squash ball and also maybe some foam balls, which are not going to damage your walls. You can also find items like soft tennis balls, also foam, and of course you'll need your squash racket. And what I'd also like you to have is some things to aim for. So depending on how good your skill level is, you might be able to get the ball in the cup from a bit of a distance. You can find things in your kitchen, like little tiny um, sorting out trays, small buckets. And if you're really a beginner and you're really having trouble with getting things in the target area, I'd even go as far as having your laundry basket and just aim for that because that's going to really develop your skills. So I think these are really fun tools to have and to just have ready and also create some space in your house. Move the dining room table out of the living room if you can, if it's not too big and cumbersome. Roll up the carpet, create space and just make sure that your walls are not too uh, fragile. Okay, well good luck and um, let's get started on the programs. Hi, welcome to Squash Lab. This is the beginner level one, two and three 15 minute introductory at home practice training. I'm going to take you through some exercises that you can just do in your own space, in your own home. You don't need a lot of space to do this, so this is a perfect opportunity to practice your skills that you're learning while you're learning squash. So the first thing we're going to do is focus on getting the correct grip. So when you're holding the racket, you're going to put your hand in a tilted position along the grip, so it's not going to be clutching the racket like a hammer. You're going to be spreading the hand nice and long through the grip with your fingers slightly spread, three fingers and a thumb above your three fingers, and you're going to have a V position down the left side of the grip for a right-handed player. For a left-handed player, it's down the right side of the grip. So this is the position of the grip. So you can see I have a nice V down the left side. I have my three fingers slightly tilted down the grip. So again, they're not like this. They're down the grip. My thumb is above and finger above. So this is the correct grip. So the more you can get comfortable with the correct grip, the more you're going to be able to advance in your squash. So from that, we're going to just do some simple exercises today. And this is going to be how you're going to groove your swing for your squash. So the first thing is going to be a figure eight exercise, and that means that your racket head is going to follow the shape of a figure eight side on. So you've got your correct grip, and we're going to start around waist height. We're going to do two minutes of around waist height figure eight. And then you're going to do two minutes where you sit down a little bit lower, like you're playing a drop shot, and you're going to follow the figure eight shape. And then you're going to do two minutes up in the air with your elbow a little bit higher and you're going to follow the shape of the figure eight in the air and this will help develop your volley.
You're then going to do two minutes of starting with your racket up. We're going to do shadow swings for two minutes. So you've got your correct grip and imagine you're holding a glass of water. You're not spilling the water. So shows that your racket head is nice and high up. My elbow's in a nice V to start. So just pull the racket head through. And now your racket is up. I'm holding my glass of water. I'm not spilling it. And my elbow is in a nice V. And then just pull the racket head through. Try and start and then pull the racket through, okay? So this gives you a nice feeling of how to get that start of the swing, your back swing ready and your follow through. You're then going to do one or two minutes of just combining a slight movement to hitting the ball. So you're going to start with your racket up, you're going to swing your feet round and then you're going to swing. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this is getting you used to learning how to turn those shoulders before you strike the ball. And then the next exercise, you can do a minute or two if you like, where you just take a wider step out, stop, step, and swing, okay? So you take a step out, stop, step, and swing. Okay, so now you're going to get a ball. Now you can use a squash ball for this, and we're just gonna do taps upwards for a minute. So imagine this is the palm of your hand out in front. So it's like my hand is tapping the ball up. So I change my grip a little bit to make the racket hit a little bit more flat. And we're just going to hit the ball up in the air and keep the ball out in front of you. So if you do that for a minute, you might end up moving around the place a bit, but don't worry. The more you do it, you'll gain control. If you start bringing the ball in close, push it out so that you have a bit more space. Then you're going to do a minute of the same type of exercise, but now you're going to do both sides of the racket, okay? So I'm even losing a bit of control on this, so just take your time and do that for one minute. Last one with those exercises is bouncing the ball up now with a little bit of spin on the ball, okay? And the last exercise is I would use a softer ball for this one in case you have neighbours under you, or if you don't, then use a squash ball and just bounce the ball. Now, if you find you're in a bit too close to yourself, it's a bit like bouncing a basketball, but again, we're using the racket head as the palm of the hand out further in front. So try and keep a bit more space out in front while you bounce it. Okay, so that's just a nice introductory training um, you can do that any time of the day, doesn't take too long and you're developing your skills nicely.